Hello, and welcome to the series. Mr. Marr goes over the EOG while we're out for the coronavirus. All right, let's start. Number one, supermarket has 238 large boxes of cereal. Each large box holds 32 small bags of cereal. How many small bags of cereal are in the supermarket? All right, so we have to figure out what we have to do. It's pretty straightforward. A multiplication question, right? Uh, even judging by the answers, obviously addition, subtraction, or division wouldn't really work. But there's large boxes. Each box holds a certain amount. So how many small bags of cereal are in the supermarket? You have to multiply. 238 times 32. So how do we do this? Let's see. All right. So there are a couple of ways we could do this. 238 times... 32. Standard algorithm. My favorite way. 2 times 8 16. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1, 7. 2 times 2 is 4. Put a 0 here, because we're actually multiplying by 30 now, not by 3. The 0 at the end makes it 30. 3 times 8 24, you can erase this one, put the 2 here, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1, 7, now we add 6, 11, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 1 is 6, Seven. So let's go back to our answers and see. All right. So we got 7,616 bags. That would be D. Let's double check by using a different strategy. All right. Now, another method we can use is the window method, the box method, however you want to call it. So we split it up. 238 for 238, and then 30 and 2. So 200 times 30, 2 times 3 is 6, and then I have to add the zeros, right? Three zeros. One, two, three, because there's two zeros here, one here. We're at 6,000. 200 times 2 is 400. 30 times 30, 3 times 3 is 9. We're adding the zeros, one from each, so it's two zeros. 900. 2 times 30, right, in this box, would be 60. Now, 30 times 8, I know 3 times 8 is 24, and we're adding the 0. 2 times 8 equals 16. Now, here is the tough part. Maybe not that tough, but the best thing to do is you need to make sure that you line these up when we add all of these numbers together. Because if you don't line the place values up, you will get the wrong answer. It's probably best to do biggest to smallest. So we're at 6,000, then we go 900. Make sure that each of these are lined up at, at the ones column, right? 400... 240, 
60, 16. Now, what we can do, fortunately I drew this a little big, but this one is six. We can just put it over here. Zeros plus six. Four plus six is 10 plus one would be 11, then carry the one. Okay, one plus nine is 10, four plus two is six, so this would be 16, carry the one. One plus six is seven. So the answer, once again, is 7,616. Pretty basic uh, multiplication, but those are the two methods I would suggest. Wait for episode two.